we're doing a bit of fertilizer spreading. Uh, thanks for all the lovely comments about the last video. Seems you like you guys like a bit of uh, <laughs> a bit of commentary. Not my strong suit, but uh, we will um, we will do as good as we can do. Yeah, put in some um, some forty percent nitrogen, a little bit, forty percent nitrogen, forty percent sulfur on up on the barley at the minute, but we've got the wheat to do as well. Um, uh, a few more questions uh, need answering, I think. One of them is, do you keep getting a lot of, uh, cheers mate, kill. Do keep getting a lot of um, questions about top speed on the fast tracks. Well, all of the big ones, i.e. the 8000s, the 7000s, these 3000s will do 70k or 43 miles an hour. The new 4000 is, um, is 60k, so it's as basically it's as fast as a fed, which is about 36 mile an hour, um, which isn't too bad, <laughs> which isn't too bad, but um, you do just miss that last little bit compared to these on the top end on say like dual carriageways and then. The R2000 series, the uh, 2170s and the, thir and the uh, well we did have a 2135, that, their top speed is 30 mile now, but uh, they're long gone their motors now. So, um, I still had some more questions about uh, the gearbox, these P-tronics. Pretty, they, first glance they would probably seem quite complicated but um, they're really rather simple. You've got four ranges, A to D, same as most tractors. You've got six, six gears per range and you've got three modes, three different modes in the gearbox. You've got D which is uh, fully automatic which is the one I'm in at the minute. And, um, tractor looks after everything then, all you do is brake and accelerate, you don't need to clutch, the tractor sorts out all the rest. Um, then you've got power shift, uh, which obviously is, is what it is, it's manual, but you've got, uh, again, you don't need to clutch. The only time you need to clutch on this tractor is when you're when you're operating, uh, as when you've got the hand throttle on, you do need the clutch then, you can't just brake it will, uh, it doesn't work then, but uh, a lot of people don't like the P-Tronic box because they're, they're so, uh, John Deere, uh, John Deere, the JCB trait I think, the loaders are the same, they're very, Direction changes, gear changes of these very you know, clunky, if you will. Uh, they're not as smooth as uh, as uh, some makes New Holland or Massey and John Deere. All do a smoother gear change, I think. Um, but you know, I, you get used to it. And I'm quite a fan of these Petronic boxes. in knowing how to drive them. Um, as regards to the uh, uh, carving video I posted a couple of days ago, um, cow and calf are doing very well. Um, cows have no problems. Um, yeah. Cheers mate, kill. 
Yeah, cars have no problems. Uh, a bit of the vent got, um, got a uterus right back down where it should be. And um, I will get the video of that up within the next few days. Although I did get, <laughs> I did get one comment. We've said uh, one chat. We said I shouldn't put, uh, I shouldn't put videos like that up on YouTube. But uh, I think 90%, 95% of the response was uh, was good, and uh, you know that's that's you know that's what happens. That's part of farming. Uh, you don't have to. I well, mean, you didn't have to watch it, but. Uh, that's part of my uh, part of one of my jobs and um, you know I've been around cows all my life and before, uh, before I started this job um, I did six and a half years working on dairy farms milking cows so I do know my cows pretty well and I've dealt with I think it's two previous prolapses we've had before. Um, not something you want to have too often, and thankfully we don't. That's, uh, that's quite unusual. But uh, um, oh yeah, another question we had, I had was. Um, um, why not use a carving jack? Well, we do have a carving jack, and the carving jack does come in handy now and again, but most of the time it's just as easy to uh, put a couple of carving ropes on and pull her out of my hand. Um, purely because there's much less chance of doing damage. I mean, um, It's um, quite easy if you don't know what you're doing to do damage with the carving jack because you can put so much pressure on. But um, um, so therefore, the carving jack, in my opinion, is used as a last resort. Um, we did use it the other day because we had uh, one with Ed back and uh, he was tight so we did have to use it then but most of the time traffic um, most of the time you can get away with uh, carving jacks and say I've carved many many cows and I've always got on alright and a bit of barley, a little barley in this block here and some of it's still a bit yellow even though this is the second application of fertiliser we've put on this is uh, still a bit looking alright, nice and green yep. oh, I'm not concentrating that one <laughs> Anyway, back to the back to the tractor. Um, these poor old fast tracks are, I think, um, yes, right there. Uh, under um, what was the word? Undervalued, I think, but. Um, People think they're just uh, a road tractor and that's your lot. Whereas uh, even these 3000s are far more capable than that. I've got very good handle of management on them. And they're a good, good arable tractor as 
as well as transport. You get the best of both worlds. See you there. 